Hi, Greg Montoya here with Aegis Impact, and I have Dr. O'Reilly, in my opinion, America's finest holistic dentist. I use him personally. Uh, Doc, they say, never boast upon yourself, let somebody else do it for you, so I'm doing it for you. He's an amazing, Great, yeah. amazing dentist, and uh, we're here in doctor's office, and uh, we're going to be talking about spirochetes. Uh, I remember just a few weeks ago, Doc, I was in, and you say, Greg, have you ever heard of spirochetes? And I'm like, spiral what? <laughs> hey, let me show you under the microscope, and uh, you just really shocked me. I, I had no idea what a spirochete was, but when I saw them visually in my mouth, it was quite alarming. And so I thought today, for our viewers, we could talk a little bit about spirochetes, the, the potential dangers of them, but most important, what people can do about it. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, spirochetes is a big word, but simply, it's a bacteria that you find in your mouth, and it lives under your gums, where it's dark and anaerobic, no oxygen. They live in the absence of oxygen. So... Um, what these, see, what these bacteria do is they inflame your gums. They make them red, they cause them to bleed, and that's what causes gum disease ultimately. The bleeding gums, so there's bugs and bacteria and microbes living under your gums. They will eventually cause breakdown of your supporting tissue, your gums and your bone, over a matter of years. It could be even decades, but eventually it causes lose teeth and and for a lot of people to lose their teeth. The bacteria issue for for the healthier mouth is very important to maintain a healthy environment and keep these levels down so they don't get ahead of you and cause problems for you later on. Well here at Aegis Impact we focus a lot on looking good and feeling good mm -hmm. and I think that addressing the spirochete issue goes right along with our mission because inflammation uh, not only causes us to not look good, but also causes us to not feel good. Mm -hmm. So I believe, uh, based on what I've learned about spirochetes, and correct me if I'm wrong, that if we can get rid of the inflammation in the mouth, that can help the overall body uh, not just look better, but also feel better, which is most important. Is that correct? That's totally correct. Inflammation is huge for our bodies, but also our mouths. And we need to bring those levels down as much as we can. Most people these days have these bacteria living in their mouths and causing the inflammation. The reason why we focus so much on spirochetes is they're hard to get rid of. They're, mm. they're harder than most other bacteria because they can adapt and change their form and, and they adapt to their environment. So well, if where you, do they come from? I mean, that's, I mean, why all of a sudden are we hearing about spirochetes and, and are they something that's transferred from one person to another or yeah. from a pet or what, what exactly? They've been around. Spirochetes are a common bacteria, especially in the mouth, mm -hmm. but they, they come from pets. You can catch them from other people in your family, passing utensils around. It's somewhat contagious. It can be passed on from person to person. So it's something to, to be aware of, and um, they, are, they are harder to get rid of unless you do, do some very specific things. Then that's easy to get rid of. You have to change their environment so they can adapt. Some of these bacteria will survive even antibiotics because they change their form to adapt to, wow. the, to, the, yeah, to the attack of an antibiotic. That's not good. So it, the antibiotics can't kill them all. And so even in the mouth, they, they use antibiotics to treat gum disease, for instance. Mm -hmm. Some of these things survive that treatment and live on and then they come back and cause inflammation again. So the simplest and the best is to bring oxygen into the environment because if you remember they live in an anaerobic environment without oxygen so you bring oxygen under the gum line and it will deal with them and kill them and bring the levels down and you talk about a water pick and a special solution that you formulated that you can put in the water pick that can help yes you, you put, put these solutions? solutions into the water pick mm -hmm. and flush your gums underneath the gums with that and it changes and the, the bet it deals with these bacteria, it kills them, they go away, your gums can recover, they heal again, the inflammation goes away. So how is, how is this for the immune system? Is it, is a lot of people right now have weak immune systems with all the toxins mm -hmm. and pollution in the air, the food, uh, you know, some things going on there, we don't need, that's a whole different subject with a lot of contaminations in the food nowadays, but a lot of people have weak immune systems, so is this something that compounds potentially the issue? 
uh, and by getting rid of them, could that help strengthen the immune system? So well, we're, fi we're finding that the uh, white blood cells, we find a lot of white blood cells in the gums also when we look in the microscope. Mm -hmm. And we know that these microbes do attack um, red blood cells, fibrin in the blood, white blood cells as well. So it's a stress on our immune system to have a lot, a lot of these bacteria living in our bodies, whether it's our body or the mouth. Um, it's a stress on the immune system to fight this and to try to keep fighting it day after day. So if we bring these levels down, it takes some of that stress off our immune systems, which is always good. Yes, absolutely. Let the immune system focus on more important things, right? Exactly. So exactly. Uh, I know what really got my attention was the video uh, that you did of me under the microscope. Mm -hmm. You showed me before and after. So how about we go into your office here under the microscope and let our viewers see firsthand what it was that got me so concerned mm -hmm. about these spiral keats. But again, most important, let's finish up by showing them what they can do about it. That'd be great. Sound great? This is a good idea. Let's yes. do it. We're going to go in the office. We'll be right back. Okay.